Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best point and shoot travel cameras in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these point and shoot travel cameras, you can check out the description below. If you wanna get a best quality point and shoot travel cameras according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Canon Power Shot Elf 180 Slash Ixis 185. The Canon Ixis range of simple little point and shoot cameras has been going steady for years. The cameras have a rep for being reliable and affordable, and the Canon Ixis 185 Slash Elf 180 is very much that. This beginner's camera delivers from EMP from a relatively small 1 Slash 2.3 inch sensor, which isn't much of an upgrade from a smartphone at all. The zoom, however, is a different story, offering a respectable 8x optical range, starting from a usefully wide setting equivalent to 24. This is longer than most cameras at this price point, which makes the Ixis 185 a tempting choice. The camera's light sensitivity runs from just ISO 100 through to ISO 1600, with the camera limiting itself to a maximum ISO 800 when left on auto setting. Even with the program mode implemented, operation remains pared back, Although there are some creative digital filter options available for anyone choosing to dig deeper into the menus. So, no prizes for specs. But for this kind of money, the Canon Ixis 185 does pretty much all you would expect. If cheap and simple is what you want, this is the best point and shoot camera right here. Moving on to the next at number two with Sony Cybershot DSC 800. The Sony Wave 800 is another handy little point and shoot that puts itself just about far enough ahead of a smartphone to be worthy of consideration. Once again, the lens is the star of the show here, a 26, 103mf slash 3.26.4 model that gives you a decent amount of shooting flexibility. It's not got much in the way of burst shooting, but provided you aren't going after fast moving subjects, the Wave 800 will get the job done. It's ridiculously affordable too, consistently cheaper than the Canon Ixis 185. The number three position is held by Olympus Tough TG6 waterproof camera. If you want a camera that does what it says on the tin, the Olympus Tough TG6 is exactly what you need. It might have a small 1 slash 2.3 inch sensor, but all things considered, it produced good image quality and it can shoot in 4K video. It has a 25100 with an aperture of f slash 2 at the wide end and f slash 4.9 when it's at its maximum zoom. It includes lots of interesting features that really come to life when shooting in clear water such as macro and microscope modes, which allow you to get up close and personal. The ability to capture RAW stills and shoot at up to 20 fs also make this camera a very good choice. The best thing of all is that it can really take a bashing making it perfect for families with little ones. It's a superb travel camera that benefits from excellent waterproofing perfect for the more adventurous or clumsy type. Next at number 4, we have Fujifilm FinePix X-Pone 140 waterproof digital camera. The Fujifilm FinePix X-Pone 140 can pretty much handle anything you throw at it. Whether you're taking it 25mm underwater, accidentally drop it from heights of 1.8mm or want to use it in sub-freezing temperatures, this is a camera that won't let you down. Not only has it got a really tough build, it also delivers high quality images no matter what the lighting conditions. It can shoot you HD 4K, and it's really easy to operate. Even someone who isn't particularly tech savvy could capture some really nice images. One of the downsides is you can't shoot in RAW, and there isn't a manual mode, so if you're a bit more of a serious photographer, it may not be the camera for you. Check out the Olympus TG6 instead. However, if you just want a camera that you won't break, won't get water damage, and can take some pretty pictures, the Fujifilm X-Pone 140 is ideal. The number 5 position is held by Panasonic Lumix DS70-TZ90. Remember when we said we wouldn't be biased against older cameras? Well, this is the perfect example of why we still think they're great. Released in 2017, the Panasonic ZS70-TZ90 still has one of the best zoom lenses available. Part of Panasonic's long-running ZS range, TZ in the UK, these feature stuffed point and shoots are ideal cameras for traveling with. It's Wi-Fi ready so you can transfer images on the go. 
has an impressive third exhume, 24-720 in full-frame equivalent, and has the option of shooting in RAW. Unlike other point and shoots, it has an electronic viewfinder, albeit a small one, but it's nice to have the option to use one. It has a 49-point autofocus system, which is speedy enough, image quality is pretty good, and its metering system helps to balance exposure in a variety of scenes. The ZS70 is without a doubt one of the best point and shoot systems for balancing versatility and portability with a low price point. There are newer versions in the ZS70 range, but for the price, we think the ZS70 is pretty unbeatable. You may also want to consider the Panasonic Lumix the S200 slash TZ200, which has a bigger one inch sensor, but only has a 15 zoom. It all depends on whether you want better low light capabilities or be able to zoom in more. We still think the ZS70 has the edge, which is why we have included it in the list. The number six position is dominated by Canon PowerShot SX740HS. If you're after a camera with incredible zoom capabilities, look no further than the Canon PowerShot SX740HS with a focal range equivalent to 24960 on a full frame camera. It has a 20.3 MP1 slash 2.3 inch sensor and an LCD screen that can be flipped to face the front making it perfect for selfies. For anyone looking to shoot video too, it can film in 4K and has a max continuous burst shooting mode of 10th. The Canon Power Shot SX 730HS can be found slightly cheaper if you don't need 4K video. Image quality and autofocus performance on this camera is pretty good and overall it's an excellent camera for the price. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Panasonic Lumix Lex 15 slash Lex 10. If you want a point and shoot camera that also delivers a visible jump up in picture quality from a camera phone, you need one with a larger sensor. The Panasonic Lex 15, which goes by the name Lex 10 in some territories, has a 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor that does the job perfectly. It's true that there is no built in EVF, which might put some people off and the smooth finish to the body might make it look stylish, but doesn't make for the firmest hand grip. But the responsive touchscreen is terrific. The dual control rings provide a very pleasing user experience, and the 2470 Tomb has one of the widest aperture settings around, courtesy of its F-1.4 to F-2.8 aperture range. Overall, this neat little snapper has the near-perfect balance of features, performance, and pricing. It's small enough for your pocket, easy for beginners, but powerful enough to be one of the best point and shoot cameras for serious photographers. The number eight position is held by Canon Power Shot 9X Mark Roman II. The Canon Power Shot 9X Mark Roman II is a rather sophisticated looking point and shoot camera, courtesy of its rather minimalist yet traditional appearance and streamlined controls, which have the benefit of keeping the body endearingly dinky. Despite this, it's something of a beast under the bonnet, with a 1 inch sensor paired with a wide angle 2880 form equivalent lens, whose maximum aperture at wide angle is a respectable f/2. There's no viewfinder, but the 3 inch LCD on the rear also responds to touch, which again ensures that physical controls can be kept to a minimum. To sum up, this is a neat looking, well specs point and shoot compact camera that can produce vastly superior images to a camera phone and it's rather nice to look at in use. Next at number 9, we have Sony RX10VI 20.1 MP Premium Compact Digital Camera. While the RX10VI does cost more than most point and shoot buyers are willing to countenance, we could not include it here for the simple reason that this series represents pretty much the best the world of compact cameras has to offer. As the name implies, the VI is the sixth iteration in a series that Sony has been perfecting for many years, providing an exceptional blend of image quality and portability. While the VI has since been superseded by the Roman 7, we reckon this model offers an outstanding balance of power and value for money. Super smooth 4K footage and dynamic burst shooting, it's all here. And there are plenty of extra features that many cameras on this list don't offer, such as the pop-up electronic viewfinder. And all this is housed in a camera small enough to pop into a pocket provided you don't mind a few of the controls being a little fiddly to use, it's a boon for travel photography and videography alike. If you like the sound of the RX10VI but are still put off by the cost, then check back through previous models in the RX10 series as they are without exception very good, and most of them are popular enough to still be in production. And alternatively, if you've got more cash to splash then definitely take a look at the currently flagship, the Sony RX10 Roman 7. 
Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sony DSC 800 slash B20.1 MP digital camera. Panasonic's TZ range of travel-friendly super zooms has been hugely popular with roaming photographers for a long time. And the Lumix TZ200, also known as ZS200 in the USA, offers a leap forward in zoom capability. Panasonic has somehow managed to fit a 24-300 system equivalent onto a tiny body, giving this camera incredible reach. The one-inch sensor gives it real flexibility in all sorts of lighting conditions, making for a camera that's brilliantly versatile but uncomplicated and can still fit in a pocket. Whether you want to take simple reference photos for a creative project or high-quality prints to incorporate into your work, this is a solid choice. That's all for today. We upload camera, camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.